Hi everyone, let the year again with this beautiful place tarot. So today this is going to be a message from spirit video. Um, I was called to do this today. So, you know, I think it's all fine and well, you know, to do the 18 and over videos, but you know, sometimes I'll get tugged by spirit to do something with a little more substance, a little more depth. Um, right now I'm listening to 963 Hertz to open up your third eye activation, opening up your brow chakra, pineal gland. In case you've never seen this, anybody on my page, this is really good. I go to sleep with this sometimes, uh, most nights recently because I can't sleep and this is really good. Um, so this is good for downloads. Um, if you are on fluoride toothpaste, get off of it right away. I feel like I have to tell people that. Um, another thing is, you know, red meats, non-alkaline foods, you know, things that are going to keep you in your lower chakras, you know, your root chakra, your, um, you know, you want to stay up in the upper chakras and open, okay? So, um, if you were drawn to this reading, thank you, thank you for coming, um, Friday I will do tomorrow, I will do, if I get to 300, I will do three winners for my um instagram go ahead and follow me please this beautiful place tarot on instagram okay um so yeah go ahead and pick your pile we got uno dos tres pile one is going to be lapis lazuli pile two is going to be amethyst and pile three will be this uh, ruby red heart okay so um yeah i was called to do this video you know i will do a probably another 18 and over explicit but you know i mean just as a collective guys we got to get out of our lower our lower vibes our lower selves you know with the sex and the the jealousy and this whole twin flame karmic stuff okay all right i'm done with that so if you pick pile one you pick lapis lazuli this is your reading okay what does spirit want you to know for right now and if you came to this page it was not by accident you were drawn to it all right so we have wisdom 32 3 plus 2 is a 5 that means change okay you might be a life path 5 pile a pile 1 Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back and choose the path that leads you to wisdom, Buddha. As the Buddha taught, wisdom is the actual means by which we can purify ourselves. Just knowing this brings calmness and then faith and eventually it brings truth to the light. Okay, so I'm getting um, a few downloads. Um, I'm getting prayer for this pile. You're going to need to pray to your ancestors to your archangels i'm not sure if you have any archangels but i'm getting told you're gonna need to pray um this pile in particular in particular may not um be tapping into their fate i'm also getting a little bit of depression my shoulders are tensing up so i'm feeling a lot of pressure like you need a massage but that's just telling me like yeah you got a ball somebody has a ball in the back of their neck okay so you need to start going within. You need to meditate. Um, wisdom. They want me to get back to wisdom. So you may need to do um, some research. Okay. You might need to start looking up things. You know, why do, you know, the basics. Why do spiritualists burn sage? You know, Keep in mind it's because of negative ions, things like that. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting called to tell you about that, but I am. Um, little things, stuff about your intuition, stuff about the occult. You may need to go back and, and revisit. Okay, things about your ancestors. I'm getting told here people who picked A are either Asian, uh, African American, or maybe Latino, and um. You may need to get grounded in your ancestral roots as well as grounding yourself out in nature go out and in, into the sun okay 
So pile A, we're going to keep going. What else do you need to know? What does spirit want to tell you right now? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. So um, you need help manifesting is what I'm hearing. I keep putting off doing the video on my candle magic and my um, my spell work for money. Okay, my ritual for money. I am going to do it tomorrow, guys. I promise. Um, I want my daughter to do it with me. And she's had things going on with school. So that's why I have been... Oh, sorry. Waiting. Oh, sorry about that, guys. All right. So you might need to learn how to manifest. The summer solstice is coming up, guys, on the 20th. Always keep in mind the Mayans, you know, the Egyptians. They always looked out to the sun and to the planets for what was going on. So look into world events. If you're not into astrology, start getting into astrology. Okay. Um, yeah. Saturn is moving back into... Uh, is going back retrograde on July 1st. So we're going to have a huge uh, awakening again. All right. So definitely look into that. So very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So again, I'm getting told wisdom, books, studying. You're going to have to awaken. And again, I don't know who this is for. Okay. So pile A. So we got here five of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, I was feeling sadness and I was feeling a ball on the back of my neck. So somebody feels like they've been left out in the cold. Again, the number five. Okay, so I'm getting told synchronicity. This is about change. Um, this pile, you may not want to change is what I'm getting told. And the universe is, is telling you, you're going to have to change. Okay. Things are changing for you, and you're not going to like it, but you're going to need to do it. Okay? Next card we got. Oh, wow. Yeah. The Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sash. So communication's coming in for you. Um, I'm feeling really heavy in my heart right now, guys. I almost want to cry. Something big is going to come into you. Big, um... A big notification maybe uh, I, I don't like doing this I don't like saying this something um, predictive but you're gonna get a very important message in the next few days could be tomorrow something very um, important is gonna happen okay let me know in the comments down below guys what it is all right communication is gonna come in for you Four of Pentacles, yeah. So you're holding back. You're resisting change. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Again, all the signs are here, guys. It's a general reading. Um, you're holding back. And you need to let go. And you need to embrace change. Okay? I'm hearing awakening. Awakening. You're going to awaken. Yeah. Let's uh, narrow it down a little bit. I did ask Spirit, you know, wh what is this in regards to? Let's see. Is this in regards to love, family, career, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors? Please give me a little bit more clarity on Pile Uno, Pile One. What do they need to know? Give them some clarity. I'm hearing don't be afraid. My chest wants to tighten up. Again, start meditating. Start really balancing out your chakras, guys. I can't stress that enough. I'm hearing Kundalini. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Mom, Ancestors, please give me. Um, mm, okay, one card. What is Pio A in reference to family, career, love? Give me some clarification unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay so again i asked for clarification is this about love is this about career is this about money this is about love guys okay and again i am feeling a heartbreak so for that i'm sorry okay this is also about change you need to change if you came for Pio A, thank you very much. Follow me on Instagram, this beautiful place, Tarot. I will do three winners if I get to 300 subscribers. So share, share, share my page, please. 
Um, take care of each other. I love you. Thank you. That was pile. Oh no. Okay. Pile those. If you came for pile those, you came for the amethyst. This is your reading. Um, if you came to this page, this is the message you need to know now from spirit. Pure understanding number five. Number five again, guys. Wow. Um, I'm hearing change again. You might be a life path five. Pure understanding. The stillness of the heart reflects heaven on earth. As truth unfolds with no strings attached, the heart becomes simple and pure. So fan. When you take away the personal stories and fears created by the mind and strip away the toxic emotions of anger, self-doubt, and frustration, you can look at what is happening quite simply as it is. Purity card. So again, similar to pile one. I'm getting told, <laughs> this is funny, I'm getting told a pile one didn't believe you, so they went on to pile two. Wow, I don't know who that's for, but okay. Um, so yeah, similar message, number five, this is your card. Um, you need to meditate, you need to ground yourself. Um, pure understanding, again, take away the personal stories and fears created by the mind. Okay, toxic emotions. You might be struggling with anger, self-doubt, and frustration, okay? So they want me to reiterate that. Anger, self-doubt, and frustration. You don't need it in your life, okay? What is this in regards to, please, spirit? More cards came out for this one. Ooh, engagement is in the reverse. If you follow me... You know, I never put my cards in the reverse. So, this is in the reverse. So, maybe somebody wants to propose and you want to reject the offer or you want somebody to propose and they're not doing it. So, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Again, this is in reverse. So, it's basically saying you're not ascending. Okay? Okay. All right, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. One, two, three, four. Okay, um, hmm. I'm hearing a few things. I'm gonna pull. All right, yeah, so five of wands. There's competition here. Again, the number five. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm not looking at these at all before I pull them. Five of rods, um, Aries Leo Sag. There's competition here. We got three of pentacles. I'm hearing somebody doesn't want to put in work. Okay. I'm going to move on. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got here ace of swords. You need to know the truth. This woman looks like she's been crying. You might have dark hair, dark features, long hair. You might like the color red. You might like flowers. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Again, don't get fixated on the signs. All the signs will be here. All the elements will be here, guys. Yeah, um, you need to know the truth. And it's about the Ten of Cups. So I asked in my head, what was this about? This is about a love offer, a relationship, a marriage. All right, so you got here engagement again in the reverse. I'm asking Spirit if this should be in the reverse, and they're telling me yes. Okay, so yeah. All right, <clears throat> my throat is tightening up again. So I'm sorry if that's not the message you wanted to hear. This is for somebody out there. If it's not your message, don't take it. But if it is, let me know in the comments down below, guys. All right, so we're going to do another Romance Angels. Give me clarification, please, Spirit. What is this in regards to? Who is this message for, please? What is this about? All right, yeah. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this is about your soulmate. I'm telling you guys, sometimes I can't make this stuff up. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, 
Um, this is about a love offer, a marriage. Again, engagement is in reverse. All right. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, guys. It's Beautiful Place Tarot. If I do get um, to 300, I will go ahead and um, do three people for a free one-hour reading giveaway. Okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, if you picked Pio 3, Pio 3, what is your message from Spirit? We got here Red Ruby. All right, these are your cards. <sighs> I'm gonna drink some wine, hold on. <sighs> Pure mindfulness, number 11. 11 turns into a two. Look this up, you might be a life path too. Pure mindfulness. Mindfulness is the miracle by which we master and restore ourselves. With mindfulness comes the awareness that what has happened in the past is only memory and that what is going to happen is the future is but a form of fantasy. Be still and open to the most precious moments that life presents to you. All the opportunities and blessings to be found are unfolding for you in the now. Okay, I heard um, spiritual bath as I was reading this. Some people may need to take a spiritual bath with sea salt. Again, um, people need to get out in nature, ground themselves, let your toes fill the earth. Because this is about not being present in the moment. And also I'm hearing ungratefulness. So somebody who picked this pile might be feeling ungrateful for the things that they have. Again, prayer is important, guys. Meditation is important. Speak to your ancestors. next card getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so i'm getting told this is about spirit this is about communicating with spirit okay i'm hearing um have real conversations i don't know who that's for okay i'll pull another one just to make sure let's see your tarot there was a lot that fell out for this one okay so three of cups Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This might be about family. This might be about um, reconciliation. Okay? This may also be about a celebration. I'm hearing celebration. The number three might be of importance to you. You might be a life, life path three. Go ahead and Google two, three. And we'll go from there. Yeah, next card is Wheel of Fortune. You might be a fixed sign. You don't have to be. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Um, things are changing, okay? Things are shifting. You will be fortunate, okay? I am here in celebration again. So you have something very big happening. I'm, I'm hearing happiness. So, um, and I'm hearing money. So somebody may be coming into money and or you may be having a big party to celebrate something soon but the wheel of fortune i'm hearing is turning in your favor so i'm starting to feel happy i feel like um i feel like i want to laugh uncontrollably for no reason and i'm not crazy guys so i'm holding back all right the star aquarius again this is about hope okay you have healed is what I'm hearing. You've put in the work to heal. <clears throat> um, I'm hearing good job. So for whoever picked this pile, I'm hearing good job. I'm hearing your ancestors are proud of you. The Empress. See, I was feeling abundance. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Um, you may also be getting pregnant for whoever uh, may be having sex unprotected. Or you might be pregnant now um yeah <laughs> so that's what the celebration may be about um taurus libra you are standing if you are feminine doesn't matter but you are standing in your power this pile okay speak to your ancestors though they want to talk to you i'm hearing it's been a while okay wow queen of wands wow 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 Ooh. 
I'm getting like so happy. You have no idea. So the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. If you know me, if you've been to my channel, you've seen my readings, you know I love the Queen of Wands. Like Queen Wands is bad bitch energy for me. Leo, um, Aries Sag, always on their money, always about their paper. Okay. Doesn't need to be a female here, but I'm feeling really strong feminine energy again because of the Empress is here as well. So, yeah, this pile is just phenomenal. Just the messages are crazy good, okay? Queen of Wands, I'm hearing you've done a great job. Keep doing it. You need to speak to your ancestors more. I'm hearing you have gifts. You have talents. You may be a tarot reader. Um, you have a great calling on your life. Don't give up. Oh, okay. I'm hearing things are going to start getting harder. I know, you know, what, what's going on in America, the race things. Um, yeah, COVID-19. Things are going to get harder. So you have to stand in your power. This pile. Pile three. Okay, because I did it for the other ones, I will ask for some clarification. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, Ancestors, Mom, please tell me what is this in reference to? Is this money? Is this career? Is this about a baby? Is this love? Please give me clarification for Pio Tres. I'm hearing all of the above. Hmm. It's about everything. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, I'm hearing everything. It's about everything. Okay, so you might have long, dark hair. Okay, if you're a masculine, you're very buff. Doesn't need to be though. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So maybe this is people that are having problems in their relationship. I don't know. Again, don't get fixated on the signs, guys. All the signs are here. This is a general reading. But give your relationship a chance. Okay, if you picked pile three, thank you for coming to my page. I love you. Please be good to each other. Keep in mind, again, Saturn is going retrograde in Capricorn. If I didn't say it earlier, I don't know why. In Capricorn on July the 1st, we have a lot of stuff going on celestially. Keep in mind, the summer solstice is on the 20th. After that, it's going to be a domino effect, guys. I'm already feeling the pool. Um, I know when I feel the pool because I need to take constant naps, okay? I just woke up from another nap and I had all kinds of dreams. Um, so, yeah. Check out my video tomorrow. I will... See if I get to 300 people, I will pull winners for my giveaway and I will do a ritual on um, attracting money and I will go over some candle magic. All right, guys, thank you so much. I love you. Be good. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Bye bye.